How's it going? My name is Matt Wells. You're watching Juno TV, and look who I found. Joel Plaskis. Hey, How's it going? Good, Nick. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. It's been a while. And I'm not just saying that. Thank you. Like, I mean it. Well, I mean it, too. <laughs> hey, do you remember when uh, I was living in Halifax, and I interviewed you, I spent the day with you, and we went to Value, Value Village. Village? Yes, I You do. bought a drum kit. Yeah. And we put it in the back of my Much Music truck. Yes. Do you still have that drum kit? No, that one probably moved along. Uh, there's been, I can't remember what I did with it. It might have gotten given away. I was really I hoping for a better story. Like, yeah, that's the one we use on the new record. No, no, there was a drum kit that I bought that I still have from a yard sale. It was 25 bucks. It had Kiss decals on it. I bought it down the valley. So that's the cheap one that makes all the records. Right. But that one was maybe too cheap. And it got, <laughs> it got shuffled along to somebody. Well, I was thinking about that, getting ready to come to chat with you. And it dawned on me that it was nine years ago. And how much has changed so fast in those nine years? YouTube exploded and changed everything. Yep. Twitter changed things. Instagram changed things. Bandcamp changed things. All these things came along and just changed the way we deliver music, yep. the way we had to think about presenting it. And I wanted to ask you, has it changed how you approach what you're doing from nine or ten years ago? Not in terms of making records. I mean, I still want to make records that hold together as like 45 minutes of music, even though I know that's not how everybody consumes them anymore. Right. That's still my goal is to make something that satisfies me on a side A, side B, here's what I had to say in 40, 45 minutes. So with Park Avenue sobriety test, what was, what was you trying to answer? What was the theme or what, what was the question going into it? I mean, I looked at the group of songs and as it came together, I was, I was going to call the record, I had two names for it. One was called, one name I had was called Beyond the Frame, which is a song that isn't on the record, but I recorded for the record, and that phrase appears in a bunch of the songs. And the idea was like, people who exist just outside the frame in which you want to put them in, outside of, the, in, the, in the fringes of society, or mm -hmm. even just kind of in terms of what you expect from people. This is how people are supposed to behave, you know. Not everybody subscribes to that. Um, but that seemed like, but then the Park Avenue sobriety test as a song is really fun. As a phrase, it made sense. Then the acronym became apparent, the past. Yeah. And so that it made sense. So I went that way. But that song to me represented a bunch of those emotions about a guy who's just kind of out on a night, stumbling home. He's drunk. He gets to the park. He has to go through this park, which is kind of sketchy, which is like the park near my house, to get home. This guy. And he's, try, and, and he's, and he's trying, to, and he's like, do I walk through the park? It's kind of like it's the middle of the night, and then the last line in the, of the song is like, but if you're one of a kind, you can't get on the ark, so zip up your jacket and go home. So if you think you're so special, right. and there's nobody else like you, then you got to walk through there by yourself, you know? And so, and, and ultimately, that's what everybody does, right? Or, or you find company, and you find some common ground. And so that's, that's to me, the, that's, the, that's the line that sums up the record for me. Thanks. Good to see you, man. You too, man. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Hi, I'm Joel Plaskett on Juno TV. You can watch more on these links right here. Be sure to subscribe. Fix yourself a drink and go click on a button. Watch something else. Enjoy yourselves. Rock on. <laughs>